How you doing? Hello, Mr. Harris. Hey, how you doing? Phyllis Marshall. Phyllis, how you doing? It's a Phyllis. pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. Phyllis Marshall couldn't just sit back and watch yeah, as yeah, a viewer. You know, I, I watched the piece on the news last oh, night, you, and yeah. it really touched my heart. She felt compelled to help home invasion victim Marlon Harris. You know, I can't do nothing but hope, you know, right now. 67-year-old Harris described how two masked gunmen kicked in his front door at 1 in the morning January 2nd, then held the Vietnam veteran at gunpoint while they stole his safe with his life savings inside. $36,000 in family jewelry gone in less than 30 seconds. And he just took the gun in my face, put it on the back of my head. I just got on the floor and I said, oh, this is it. The Marine Vietnam veteran says even at age 67 and on oxygen, he tried to fight back. They just rushed on in. After watching my story about Harris's plea to find the suspects. It was kind of traumatic, you know, just watching those men break into his house. Marshall knew she could help, inspired by her Korean War veteran father. My father, you know, he was also a veteran, and so it was, <laughs> it made me think about my own dad. Marshall can't identify the thieves, but she came up with a generous idea to start a GoFundMe to replace Harris's stolen savings needed for continuing health care for himself and his bedridden wife, who recently had a stroke. I feel a little better, you know, at least it's, there's some hope, you know, hopefully. Well, I'm glad you reached out to uh, KCRA because, yeah. you know, by doing that, you know, you give us the opportunity to not only bless you, but you bless us, you oh. know, by being able to, to help you. In Sacramento. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Same to you. Michelle Van Duer, KCRA 3 News. Love to see this. Sacramento County Sheriff's detectives are still investigating and have some leads from the surveillance video from Harris's home. And we have a link to that GoFundMe on our website, KCRA.com. At last check, more than $13,000 was already raised. Wow.